What's going on? And welcome back to another adventure. In today's episode, we introduce to you the new van build on the channel. This is a Ford Econoline E150, and we are going to be building out this interior to be the ultimate camper van. This van belongs to my buddies over at Vans and Stuff. Go ahead and check out their channel. They have some awesome builds where they do Raptor liners, wheels and tires, lift kits, just make the ultimate overlanding vehicles. I wanna thank you guys for this opportunity. I think once this build is done, you will not be disappointed. Head over to their channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment on their most recent video saying, nice tan van so they know you're coming from my channel. And if you don't wanna miss this build series on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and make sure to give this video a like. We're gonna be showing you step-by-step step on how to build out your camper van. Starting out with a subfloor, then we're gonna be framing out the walls, we'll be insulating, we'll be putting up cedar planks to add that log cabin style that I like to do. And then we'll be adding furniture. I think by the end of this build, it is going to be the ultimate camper van. So without further ado, let's get into it. So just to start out, I think we are going to be completely stripping out the interior. It's been painted already and it looks really nice and fresh and clean. Let's go ahead and rip out these trim pieces in the doorways and then also this rubber mat. This rubber mat's going to come in handy when we need to do the subfloor because we can just trace it directly onto our plywood. So let's start ripping everything out. So you know how we do it around here. All you need to do to take these out is just it was not as easy as I made it look. It was riveted into the ceiling and to the sides of the van, and it was also drilled into the floor, but we got it out, and I think it's gonna allow for a lot more space for this build. These doorways are always pretty gnarly. I tell this was some type of work van with different bits and screws. Not bad, I'll probably just trim off all these floppy broken pieces are kind of unnecessary and it'll just leave behind an actual foot piece and that'll cover up this spot right here nicely and we'll have vinyl floor covering all this and everything so it'll look nice in the end but we got to just get rid of the unnecessary parts it's a little bit cleaner we need to get this rubber mat out of here Not looking too good. So as you can see, we got the mat out and there's quite a bit of rust, but we could take care of that kind of simple and quickly. Well, that's gonna be it for today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed this one. I wanted to keep this video a little bit shorter just so I could introduce this build to you guys and get you excited for the future. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, ring the notification bell, and comment something down below that you liked about this video or something that I can improve on for the future. In the next phase of this van build, we are gonna be installing the subfloor. After that, we will be installing the framing in the van, insulating the van right after that. After the van is fully insulated, we'll be installing the cedar tongue and groove plane once we have subfloor framing, insulation, cedar tongue and groove, vinyl flooring down, we'll start to install our furniture. We're going to be doing my classic pull-out slat bed, as well as a new and improved countertop system that is going to be absolutely awesome. So stay tuned for future build videos, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.